appreciate y'all chilling and politicking and paying attention because it's real vital. You heard me, Trench Talk TV. So that's what it's going to sound like. It ain't going to sound like nothing sugar cold. It ain't going to sound like what you want to hear. It's going to be Trench Talk. You drop out, you, you, you're doing what you're doing in the streets. Has you had any run-ins with law enforcement by this, at this time yet? Nah, I was a smooth criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, when I got to hang around niggas, that's when my cases started coming. When I was solo in the hood, running through that bitch, buying my old schools, fucking my little hoes, selling me a little four and a half, yeah. Duh. I mean, I was smooth selling. You know what I'm saying? I started seeing bigger visions like, man, this could be like a fucking mafia. And I stuck firm with that. That's why you got to can't lose a mafia because for some reason, something clicked in my head. I just started believing in that shit. My nigga just out the blue. Like, I'm like, man, I can I can build a mafia. Like, I, I know I'm a hustling ass nigga. I'm young. All the old niggas fuck with me. Nigga, I ain't even got a full high school education and I'm hanging with niggas 35, 40, you know what I'm saying? I'm 15, you feel me? So I'm like, man, with my mindset, nigga, I can, I can build some shit, you feel me? I believe you had, um, around this time, age 15, um, you knew Young Fat, uh, Little Fat by this time. I'm older than Fat. So uh -huh. by the time, I, when I was 15, Fat wasn't relevant, like, like how y'all, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But what's crazy is I actually did know Fat because Fat Cousin was one of my friends. You know what I'm saying? To this day, that nigga my partner, he will get fucked up in the head, but that's my partner. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I remember Fat them, you know what I'm saying? They stayed in St. In St. Paul's in the back of Glen Oaks. He was a little nigga, little chubby nigga. And this before he jumped off with the he been a little fat, that's his household name, you know what I'm saying? But before he jumped out with the music shit, and you know, ain't no air, nigga ain't walking, nigga ain't coming out the pussy with a chopper, but niggas like it turned on, you know what I'm saying? And after a while, young and like got turned on. I got you, man. Inspired by Handy, um. In a sense. In a sense. What, um, what, what were your music inspirations? I ain't have none, brother. I ain't have none, like, it, it just felt like I could do that shit one day, you know what I'm saying? It just, I just, I just felt to, you know what I'm saying, say some shit in my head, like my, my mind telling me, do this like this, do this like this. Man, nigga, remember that, that Wayne, that I'm a fire man, fire for fire? Mm-hmm. Man, I wrote it, I wrote about, I wrote about nine songs to that one beat. I'm like, man, I don't know nothing about no studio. I don't know where to go to record. I don't know the first the first person or nothing. <clears throat> so I really didn't have the interest in that shit like a nigga thought I would. You feel me? Like a nigga think I, I did have. I didn't. I just felt like it naturally came. But. All right. You're not even um, taking rap too serious right now, but at this time. I want you to paint a picture um, for me, if you could, of what Baton Rouge was like at this time. Like, what, what year was this? Man, like 2006. Baton Rouge, bro, this, this, this bitch was different, nigga. This bitch was like, this bitch was like a gold mine, you feel me? And everybody was searching. That's how that bitch was to me. Around that time, you know what I'm saying? It was like a real life gold mine. You know what I'm saying? You had the X pills, you know what I'm fucking. The different kind, the real ones. The real ones busting niggas' hearts. Right. You know what I'm saying? 25 dollars type shit. But I'm a young nigga. I ain't talking like I'm an old nigga and I had 20,000 X pills back then, but I was retarded. You know, I was doing my shit, you know what I'm saying? I just was a smooth nigga, little nigga, you know, low key, get his bread. Fuck up my fine ass little female, got on the trap, stay out the way, shoot mama a few dollars, and shit like that. 0506, Boo had the streets on fire, uh, right? Boo said, uh, a lot of different people. The Hatch had the streets on fire for sure. 